In the recruiting process, when a young man's trying to make his decision where he wants to spend the next four to five years and participate in a football program, facilities is uh, at the top of their list. They want to make sure they're going to a place that offers to them the facilities to become a better football player. And here at the University of Dayton, we have those facilities that attract outstanding football and quality young men. We have Division I first-class facilities in which they want to participate and be a part of while they're here at Dayton. What you want to do is when a recruit or a family or an alum comes to the campus, you want to catch their attention right away. And that's what our lobby will do, the Ferrex lobby. As a recruit or a family or alum walks in, he is greeted with huge colorful posters and pictures of our teams, our All-American plaques, our academic All-Americans, and it's modern. It really modernized our lobby and made it uh, flashy. When uh, someone comes into our lobby, it's an eye catcher. Our office complex, what has been so good about it is we had a complete renovation a couple of years ago. The entryway into the football demonstrates the championships that we've had won here at the University of Dayton. It's the Chuck Knoll, John Gruden championship room in which we're able to display our 12 PFL championship trophies and our four national uh, championship trophies and so that's a great way to start a visit for a young men when they come in. Then the office complex, what it has really done for our current players and our coaches, it's given us a, a place where coaches can prepare each week as the, uh, getting ready for the game. They have plenty of equipment with video and computer technology and a place to meet with our players, position players. The team meeting room was an addition just this past year and what a benefit it has been for our football team. So now with our uh, team meeting room right here in the Frerich Center, we can meet as a team and go over important information. We can use it as a meeting room for different position groups because all the video and computer and projector uh, equipment is right there. So it has really helped us to keep everything centrally located right here in the Frerix complex. The Olsen Center is our new weightlifting and conditioning center and uh, it just opened up last January. It's a little over a year now that we've been in this weight room and what it has done for the football team is in the past during our winter conditioning we've had to have four different lifting times throughout the uh, day to get all of our players in. Now with this larger facility that all athletic teams will use, we're down to two. We have a morning lift and we have an afternoon lift. And so our players are able to get in there with each other and have a, a good lift, a good team chemistry, good bond building, all that's going on, plus state-of-the-art equipment. Uh, it goes back again to the Division I facilities and what we have for our athletes here, for our football players, to help them become better over the four years here. Cronin Gym is a facility in which we can gather as a team again uh, during the winter months especially. And so we're able to use that facility for our speed and agility workouts. It also is an added bonus in that our players conduct open gyms on the weekends during the winter months to work on football skills. Our academic center, what it does again, it shows the importance to our athletes, to our football players, the emphasis we put on academics. Because you can't have just athletic facilities that are first class, you gotta have academic facilities that are first class. And with the academic center, it has our academic advisors in there like Vera Gomes to help our athletes, especially our freshmen, make that transition into college academics. And I firmly believe our academic center, our academic support team is one of the reasons we do so well academically here. The Cronin Training Room facility is a first class Division I training room. I, I would venture to guess there's not many universities around the country that have one as nice, as big as what we have for athletes here. And again, with it being centrally located right here in the Cronin Frerichs uh, facility. And what it allows is we have a number of athletic trainers there. We have a number of tables and, and taping and uh, treatment tables and, and different uh, 
baths, cold baths, hot baths, to help our players get back to 100% health there. When a recruit is looking at uh, a university, uh, one of the things that he will look at is your locker room. He wants to see where is he going to spend a lot of his time at during the season uh, and making sure that it's uh, up to top-notch quality and that things are taken care of, it's a nice environment to be in, it's pleasant to the eye. And that's what our locker room is. And it's always been that way, but I really believe it's going to even be better because it's going to go through a, a really big renovation this coming summer in which it will make this locker room even better than it is right now. Just the environment of the locker room with the different banners and, and slogans and pictures of captains up on the wall there, all those things really make it a football environment for our players to be in. The Donaher Training Room uh, is a place for our athletes to be able to get treatments, to get taping before practice and before games. And what's so nice about it, again, it's spacious. They need a place they can get in, get their taping, get their treatment before a practice or a game and get out. And that's what the Donner Training Room facility allows for us. And again, it's first class. Everything from the tables to the, the baths again, the tubs that they have there, it's all done right. Here at Dayton, we have an advantage. We have both a field turf field and a grass field. So to have that opportunity to be able to practice on grass as well as field turf is an advantage for us. We come out of our locker room, it's a short walk across the parking lot to Welcome Stadium, 11,000 seat stadium, field turf, great sound system, great lighting for any night practices that we want to do or any night games, jumbo video board, all the nuances you would want in a stadium. And it really is a nice place for our fans to come and cheer the flyers on and we use that both for practice and for our game day. As you were able to see here through this video, we have outstanding facilities and support staffs here at the University of Dayton. And as I said at the very beginning, recruiting is a big reason for this. You cannot be a good football team, you cannot be a good football coach unless you have the players. And so to attract those good football players here, I hope you've been able to see we have the facilities, we have the support staff here that will attract outstanding young men who are also very good football players.